participle and participial phrase presented by Dr. Joey B. Manalasas Jr. What is a participle? A participle is a kind of verbal that functions as an adjective in a sentence. So meaning to say, participle modifies a noun or a pronoun. You can use the present participle by adding ing to the main verb and the past participle by retaining or adding d or ed for regular verbs or changing the spelling of the main verb for irregular verbs. So as you can see here, I have here three columns. For the first column, we have here the main verb. And for the second column, we have here the present participle. And for the third column, we have there the past participle. So main verb, it remains as it is. Walk, hurt, buy, fly, flow. For present participle, we have to add ing to the main verb, just like from walk, it will become walking. Hurt becomes hurting. Buy becomes buying. Fly becomes flying. Flow becomes flowing. For the past participle, you have to add ed for walk because walk is an example of regular verb hurt from the main verb will become hurt into the past participle you don't need to change the spelling because that is a regular verb as well we didn't add D or ED we just retained the main verb form into the past participle form by will become bought which is an example of irregular verb fly will become flown which is again an example of an irregular verb and flow will become flowed which is an example of regular verb. Participles modify nouns and pronouns. Participles may come either before or after the nouns or pronouns they modify. Examples for present participle verb plus ing the talking doll scared the little girl. So where is our participle here? Our present participle here is talking. Okay. Modifying doll. Okay. So as you can see here, the present participle comes before the noun it modifies. For number two, those resting will check their equipment and the route, route or route. So we have here resting as our present participle, modifying those. So in this example, the present participle comes after the pronoun it modifies. Next, past participle, verb plus D or ED for regular verbs and other forms by changing the spelling for irregular verbs. For example, the trained dog caught the suspect for stealing the most precious stone in the exhibit. Looking for the formula, D or ED and other forms by changing the spelling are for irregular verbs. We have here the trained. Trained. Main verb train without ED. 
And for past participle that will become trained, we have to add ed, trained modifying dog. Okay. Next example, the attached document was missing. Attached, here is the example, past participle, and of course, document is the word or the noun being modified. What is a participial phrase then? Sometimes a participle is accompanied by other words that complete its meaning which make up a participial phrase. These words accompanying a participle may be a direct object and modifiers. Remember that participle or participles are formed using a verb. And we all know that a verb can be modified by an adverb. Therefore, a participle can be modified by an adverb because a participle is based or a participle is formed from a main verb. Okay? Just like a participle, participial phrases modify a noun or a pronoun. They may come before or after the words they modify. There may be one or more prepositional phrases to complete the participial phrases. Examples. Singing on the chair, she amazed the audience. So, singing. Always remember that a participial phrase will not be called participial phrase if there is no participle. So you have to bear in mind that whenever you are looking for a participial phrase, there should, there should be a participle. So singing there is our participle. On the chair will be our prepositional phrase. Therefore, singing on the chair is our complete participial phrase. And who is singing on the chair? She. So she here is being modified by the participial phrase singing on the chair. Edison experimenting with different materials in his laboratory improved the light bulb. Once again, look for the participle first. So we have your experimenting. And the words accompanying it. We have with different materials in his laboratory. Going back here with the definition of a participle phrase, there may be one or more per possessional phrases to complete the participial phrases. So, with our second example, there are actually two prepositional phrases with different materials and in his laboratory. Therefore, experimenting with different materials in his laboratory is our complete participial phrase. And who is experimenting with different materials in his laboratory? No other than Edison. Okay? The crowd was watching the inventor testing his new creation. Again, look for the participle. In this sentence, our participle is testing. Okay. Testing what? His new creation. So his new creation here will be our direct object.
Modifying, testing his new creation will be our complete participial phase modifying inventor. Now, you may be asking me, why is it not watching? Why is watching not our participle? Because watching here is our, is a part of our predicate. Always remember that whenever you're looking for a participle, you have first, in order for you not to be confused, you have first to look for the subject. And our complete subject here is the crowd. Okay. And of course, our complete predicate will be was watching the inventor testing his new creation. And was watching here will be our predicate. Okay. Was watching. That is our verb phase. And that is not our participle or participial phase. Okay? Because subject, the crowd, and our verb is watch, was watching. Failing failure, the student almost abandoned his modules. Fearing failure, fearing is our participle with the direct object failure. Fearing failure will become our participial phrase. Modifying, of course, student or the student. Why? Who is fearing failure? Of course, the student, not the module. Okay. For the next sentence, let's look for the participle we have dancing. And then, as I told you a while ago, dancing is a participle formed from a verb. Therefore, it could be modified by an adverb, like cheerfully. And a prepositional phrase in the crowd. Cheerfully dancing in the crowd will be our complete participial phrase. Who is cheerfully dancing in the crowd? Of course, Anna. Okay. Look at this example. Cheerfully dancing in the crowd. After that, there shall be a comma. Okay. So whenever you write your sentence this way, you should always not forget to put a comma here. Because if you will not put a comma there, your sentence structure will be incorrect. Note, make sure that the participial phrase is placed next to the word it modifies. Unclear. John created a robot experimenting in his lab. The question here would be, who is experimenting in his lab? Is it John or is it the robot? So the sentence here, the meaning or the thought of the sentence is unclear. So you have to make it clear. By, by putting the participial phrase next to the word it modifies, and that will be Experimenting in his lab, John created a robot. Because in this sentence, who is experimenting in his lab is very clear. Who is John? Okay. You may also say John, experimenting in his lab. John, comma, experimenting in his lab, comma, created a robot. Okay, the thought will be the same. Only we've changed the placement of the participial phrase. Another note, use a comma after a participial phrase that introduces a sentence. I told you that already. Also use commas to set up a participial phrase following the subject. 
if the phrase is not necessary to the meaning of the sentence. For example, struck by joy, struck is our participle, and struck by joy would be our participial phrase. Who is struck by joy? That will be G. Okay? John, waving goodbye, drove away. So, waving goodbye here is our participial phrase. Why? Because we have here the participle waving. And waving, waving goodbye would be the complete participial phrase. Modifying, of course, John. To illustrate or explain more the difference between participle and participial phrase, here is what do you call this? A comparison. So for participle on the first column and for participial phrase on the second column. The sleeping baby is really adorable. So sleeping here, modifying baby is really adorable. So we only have your participle. While here the baby sleeping in Miriam's arms is really adorable. So we have your sleeping in Miriam's Miriam's arms. Okay? Sleeping our present participle plus the prepositional phrase in Miriam's arms. Modifying baby Okay, so therefore, sleeping in Miriam's arms would be our participle phrase. The crucified God has saved this sinful people. So, as you can see, we have here crucified, modifying God. Okay, so this is a past participle. And here, on the second column, the God crucified by his people has never condemned them. So, crucified by his people. So, crucified here are past participle plus the prepositional phrase by his people. Okay. Modifying God will make our participial phrase. For number three, experimenting, present participle alone. Who is experimenting? John. On the second column, experimenting where in his lab will be experimenting in his lab or participle phrase, modifying John. Four, the poor little girl crying, our present participle modifying the girl, was helped by the old man. The poor little girl crying loudly on the street. So crying, our present participle, loudly, adverb, of manner, on the street, prepositional phrase, complete. Participial phrase, crying loudly on the street, modifying, of course, girl. The teacher, teaching, present participle, who is teaching, teacher, of course, received a surprised visit from her superior. The teacher, teaching cheerfully, so teaching plus the adverb of manner, teaching cheerfully would be our complete Participial phrase modifying teacher. Okay. So I hope that you understand our discussion on participle and participial phrase. Now it's time. Same for us to practice. Directions. Underline the participle once and the participial phrase twice. Then draw an arrow to the word or words it or they modify or modifies. Number one, a challenging game gives excitement to the students. So 
what do we have here? Do we have here only a participle or a participial phrase? First, look at the participle. Where is it? Of course, we have challenging. So underline once. And then challenging, modifying what? Game. Draw an arrow. Okay, my arrow is not perfect, but that's still an arrow. <laughs> Number two, he died from exposure, suffered during his experiments. So look for the participle or participial phase. So what do we have here? He died from exposure, suffered during his experiments. So for ing, is it during? Yes, it's not because that is a preposition. That could also be an adverb of time. What about died? That's not our participle. Why? Because that is the verb of the sentence. So our last option would be suffered. That is our participle. Now, what is being modified? He died from exposure, suffered during his experiments. Do you think we have a participial phrase here or participle only? Yes, we have a participial phrase here, suffered during his experiments. Okay. As we say, participial phrase or participle must be placed next to the word they or it modify or modifies. And that would be exposure. Okay. Number three, those walking may lead the way to the forest. Again, let's look for the participle. Do we have a past participle here? None. What about present participle? Yes, because we have your ing and that's walking. What do we have? A participle only or a participle phrase? Yes, we only have a participle. I'm, I'm sorry, it's... Um, let's go back to number two because it is said that we need to underline the participial phrase twice. So let me underline it twice. I'm so sorry, it's not perfect. So for participle alone, it has to be once and draw an arrow to the word it modifies and that is those. Number four, pork and beans canned in tomato sauce became popular. Okay, so what do we have here? What do you think? Let's look first for the participle. Where is our participle? Is it became or canned? You decide. First, if you are confused, you have first to look for the subject. Where is our subject? Or where are our subjects? So we have pork and beans, our subjects. What about our verbs? We're talking about pork and beans. Is it canned in tomato sauce or became? Or I mean, we're looking for verbs. Is it canned or became? Yes, our verb is became. And our canned here is our past participle and canned in tomato sauce will be our participial phrase. Sorry for the underlines. It's not perfect or they are not perfect. Modifying pork and beans. Spike shoes help runners maintain their speed. Where is our 
participle first. Where spike shoes help runners maintain their speed. Do we have here? What? Can you see an example there? What? Okay, I think you found it very difficult because there's something wrong with the sentence in number five, which is spiked. It has to be spiked. Okay. If you've noticed that, you're an advanced student. So, spiked shoes help runners maintain their speed. Therefore, spiked, well, it's, of course, apparent that this is our participle, okay? Modifying shoes. Do you have any question? If you have any question, you may comment down your questions in the comments section below. For our references, here are my references. 9090, outdated, and 2021, which is very updated. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you learned something.